alludes to very important developments in Western Libya which indicate that LNA is trying to recover in Western Libya and these two developments uh, happened within the last 24 hours. I will have a look at these developments but before that just a request viewers. I, I respect all of you uh, from whichever country or nationality or religion you are but I respect all of you. I request you please do not post any provocative or hateful comments. I don't delete any comments, I don't hide any comments but please do not post such uh, provocative comments. Now developments of lost 24 hours viewers. Key development near Al Watiya Air Base viewers, Al Akrabiya, 19 kilometers north of Al Watiya, it has been captured by LNA forces. It is a key development viewers because Al Watiya it has been under siege for almost uh, a week now. So when this siege started a week ago, it was expected that GNA would storm this base anytime. Instead, we are seeing that uh, LNA is trying to consolidate here and now they have come out of Al Watiya and they have captured this Al Akrabiya which is 19 km north of Al Watiya Air Base. And this uh, capturing of Al Akrabiya viewers, it has been confirmed by the spokesperson of uh, uh, LNA Al Mizmari and so far GNA has not denied this claim of LNA. In fact, as uh, when I'm not I'm making this video now, uh, GNA strikes on Al Akrabiya are going on. So it is a key development. It shows that uh, uh, LNA is trying to recover, and analysts are saying viewers that GNA should have consolidated its gains of the coastal areas of uh, uh, Libya before launching its Terhona offensive. Maybe its Terhona offensive is a little too early. Now your second development is uh, uh, Bani Walid. In, on day before yesterday I, I said that Bani Walid, uh, they are local elders, they are in negotiations with GNA of uh, Mizrata and they might announce a truce with them. Bani Walid is a key place viewers because it is on the supply route of Haftar forces. Supplies of Haftar forces they come from eastern Libya through Bani Walid to Trahona, Al Watiya and, and Tripoli. But now yesterday in a video message local council of Bani Walid it announced to stand by LNA. So LNA has managed to secure its supply route. It is also a key development viewers because at a time when LNA is suffering losses, now Bani Walid is standing by them, it is a huge morale booster for LNA forces. So these two developments are in the favor of LNA of last 24 hours. Apart from that viewers, we saw that GNA airstrikes on Tarhona and LNA airstrikes on Abu Gharain are going on. And thirdly viewers, uh, the, the pressure on GNA forces on Ain Zara front near Tripoli, it was expected to be released after Trahon offensive but it has not. In fact, LNA is trying to advance on this front and so far no respite for GNA there. In the coming hours we will see what happens on Ain Zara front but last 24 hours LNA has tried to recover. Can they keep on this momentum going or not? That remains to be seen. Thank you for watching.